Hey guys, how you doing? So I want to talk about the West Point Quarter Series today because yesterday I got 10 rolls of quarters, uh, 15 rolls of pennies, and 15 rolls of nickels. I don't really search for dimes that much. Sometimes I do. I've gotten lucky a few times uh, finding silver and some errors, but I want to focus on the quarters today. I went through all 10 rolls of the quarters yesterday. I still have a couple rolls of nickels and pennies to go through today, but I found for the first time ever I have it in this little piece of paper. I'll take it out. Why not? I have um, the War in the Pacific. I mean, it's in really nice condition. I don't know if I can get it to focus. But it's a beautiful coin. It's one of the preferred coins that I've been trying to find of the West Point quarters. Yeah, I don't know if I can get that to work. I'm sorry, guys. But you can see that you got the W mint mark right there for West Point. Right under In God We Trust. There you go. Right underneath In God We Trust, you can see the West Point mint mark. And I think it's an awesome, awesome coin. I was actually doing a, a presentation this week on the Battle of Tarawa, which took place in some of those little chains of islands by Japan and it was controlled by Japan at the time so I thought it was really unique I mean I coin roll hunt almost every week and I'll, I'll go to the bank maybe twice a week uh, for coins well, most of the tellers know me who I am know who I am but I thought it was just so interesting of all the coins that I find you know of all the West Point quarters I could have found which was you know 10 I find the uh, war in the Pacific Guam now, I had my presentation, but on Guam, I would have been like, okay, this is crazy. But I had the bottle of Tarawa, which you could go on YouTube and find some really cool um, World War II, the History Channel documentaries on there. Um, it's a very interesting battle to, to learn about the Marines in, in World War II. It's very, very cool. I love history, and I love this coin because, you know, it's. I love when coins have a nice historical value to it. Um, besides, I mean, the West Point quarter, the quarter hunt is just such a fun thing to do for collectors. You know, I think it really helped out coin collecting when it came out in 2019. Um, in 2021, I love the Washington quarter as well. But of all these quarters you see up here, I'm really looking to find the Texas one. The ones that I have so far, let's see. I know I have this one. I believe that's the Tall Grass Prairie. That was the first one I found in a coin roll hunt. And um, let's see, I have this one. What is that? Salt River Bay. I found that one in California. Uh, so that was pretty cool. I got that out of like a change machine to play like some pool. And I always check my change. So it helps to check your change, guys. Um, even if it's from like a vending machine or something like that. Uh, it re really does help. And I got this in a customer wrap roll, just like one of these. That's why I brought it out of here, just to, to show you guys which roll I found it in. So I thought that was really, really cool. You know, you can you can get lucky with customer wrapped rolls. You know, don't let don't let that deter you away from not wanting to coin roll hunt if your bank doesn't have like the sealed rolls. Like Navy Federal, uh, they usually have um, the customer wrapped rolls. They say they don't really get the the sealed rolls. I've only seen that one time, and that was like when I started coin roll hunting at a certain bank. That was like the only time I ever got them. Um, but yeah, I found silver in in um, these type of rolls. You know, I found. West Point quarters. Even if your buddy's got changed, ask to go through his change, you know, or buy it from him. You know, <laughs> it's it's worth it. But I, I'm really hoping to find the uh, San Antonio. I I love this quarter right here. I think it's beautiful. I, I that's the one I'm really hoping to find next. And yeah, it's cool. These ones have the World War II privy mark, the V75 anniversary of the end of World War II. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. But uh, the Tuskegee Airmen would be another really cool one to find, very historical right there. I wish they had the 2021 Washington Crossing the Delaware. I wish they had that in a in a West Point. I wish West Point made one of those for the series, because that would be totally awesome. That's literally one of my favorite quarters. But this was really cool to find. Absolutely astounded that I found that yesterday. And once I had this hunch, too. I'm going through my quarters, and I'm like, Man, I just have a good feeling today that I'm going to find a West Point quarter. And I did. I found it like a roll or two later. 
Now, sometimes I'll get a hunch be like, man, I'm going to find that 55 double die today. And, you know, I don't find it. But today I had that hunch, you know, and I got it. And I've looked through tens of thousands of quarters, you know, by now. And I've only found three West Points. So this is pretty great. Um, you know, so I, I'm not getting too lucky, but I'm getting some luck. And that's what, all you can ask for is just a little bit of luck, you know, here or there. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.